We have some breaking news right this? now here on KCAL 9. A police chase involving a stolen tanker trunk. This is on Wilshire Boulevard right now. You can see that tanker truck going at a very high speed down Wilshire Boulevard right now in Beverly Hills. A very unusual situation, and I want to bring in Jennifer Kim. Jen, this is going to have a major impact, obviously, on traffic. Yeah, Peter, absolutely. It's not every day that you see a tanker truck that is stolen. Usually we're in like a passenger car or sedan. Uh, but yeah, this uh, truck is careening down Wilshire Boulevard right now. We have that helpful map overlay that's showing us exactly where he's headed right now as he continues down Wilshire Boulevard, passing Weatherly Drive. Uh, Police are hot on his tail right now. And of course, uh, the threat here, the danger really, is the fact that uh, this tanker truck is full of fluid. I believe it's 21,000 gallons of it could be gasoline there. So if he happens to crash, this could be mm. a very dangerous situation. Of course, we see these oil slicks, these fuel spills all the time on the roadways. And it turns into an absolute mess. And if you have that all over the roadways, of course, that is a public safety concern. Uh, it's an absolute mess for everyone to come to clean it up. It could be shut down for hours. But of course, right now, uh, the concern is that he could crash into someone else. So this is really a dangerous situation as he continues down a Wilshire Boulevard here. Really scary. Very scary. And Jen, as you just mentioned, there are several police units behind him right now. It looks like the Beverly Hills Police Department is involved. What's unusual is this tanker truck stopped and then kept going again. Several cars on the side of the road are pulling over. So at some points, he is heating the, the traffic. It appears that he's paying attention to his surroundings, but then he just keeps going. And uh, I, get, I believe right now he is on Wilshire Boulevard uh, near Hamill. He just passed Doheny. Uh, and as you mentioned, Jen, certainly a very bizarre situation. We don't know the circumstances, but the fact that he has 21,000 gallons of fluid that could ignite in that tanker truck, definitely a concern for law enforcement right now. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like he's on his cell phone right now, which is illegal in itself. So, uh, you know, he's already distracted as he's driving down Wilshire Boulevard. And then, of course, being in this gigantic tanker truck, which is kind of, you know, specialized driving, uh, but he's in there and who knows what state of mind he's in as he continues down uh, these surface streets here. And uh, usually, you know, these pursuits, we'll see them often hop onto the freeway. Right now, it seems like he's staying there uh, on those surface streets, but really a dangerous situation as he continues to run these red lights. Uh, again, we don't know what he's thinking, how this even happened, but a stolen tanker truck rolling down Wilshire Boulevard here in Beverly Hills with police hot on his tail. Of course, 21,000 gallons of fuel inside that tanker truck could be a very dangerous situation if he happens to crash. Uh, and if we have a fuel spill on the roadways, Gosh, that would just take hours to clean up here. So a very dangerous situation as he continues on down here on Wilshire. But it looks like he's slowing down, doesn't really have uh, anywhere to go right now. And of course, this is a giant tanker truck, so it's not like he can easily maneuver it in and out of traffic anyways as he comes to a complete standstill here. And remember, these people have to be certified to drive vehicles like this. That's um, right. you, we have no idea whether this person is capable of handling uh, a, a vehicle like this, especially carrying something as well. And Jen, you mentioned this person really doesn't have anywhere to go now. This is still part of the morning rush hour, 717 right now, in what is usually a relatively congested part of town. Uh, but now things are moving along and, you know, police officers really have to weigh the difference here right. to figure out how they're going to stop this person. Peter, keep in mind, they can't just do a pit maneuver no. to stop this individual. They're of course in a, not, especially uh, a very with 21,000 gallons of flammable liquid. Right. This I mean, is a very, a very, very unusual situation. We cover chases all the time in the Los Angeles area. I can't remember in, in recent memory where I've seen a vehicle of this kind running from police. No, and, and that's what makes this so unusual and also challenging for law enforcement because they have to now figure out how to stop this driver. Obviously, their main concern is public safety, but they don't know what's going through his mind right now. Is he intending to crash this vehicle? Is he just trying to get away? We don't, we don't know, and that's the big question is what are they going to do to stop him? So we saw at La Cienega, at the intersection of Wilshire and La Cienega, he's treating red lights like stop signs. So he stops. He does look both ways, but then he keeps going. And it looks like right now he is pulling over, uh, stopping again, as you can see here, 
checking to see that the intersection is cleared, but he's probably just going to keep going through like he did before. Yeah, the good news, of course, is that this person is driving relatively slow, staying on surface streets. We're not seeing some of the erratic driving that we've seen in other chases. Of course, part of that is because of the kind of vehicle that this is. A little unusual that this person stole a tanker truck. That's what we, we're hearing from police right now. And we're still trying to figure out the circumstances of how that even happened. But this could have come from any number of places. And, and we don't know whether or not this person is armed. We don't know if this person forcefully took the truck or not. Yeah, and let's bring back in Jennifer Kim. Jen, you're watching this. This is obviously going to have a major impact on traffic this morning. Absolutely. And as you guys mentioned, you know, we're in the height of the rush hour commute right now. So a lot of people probably don't even know what's going on. As you said, he's not driving very erratically. He's actually taking it pretty easy, even waiting as a pedestrian crosses the crosswalk right now. Thank goodness he's waiting for that person to cross before he goes. So if there was ever a responsible pursuit driver, I mean, there you go. He actually waits before he goes. He waits at each intersection before continuing on. He is heading eastbound right now on Wilshire Boulevard. That helpful map overlay that we do see here is a new feature that really helps us out, especially in these pursuit situations. As he continues uh, eastbound here, you can see going down on Wilshire Boulevard. All right, if you're just joining us here on CBS 2 News, we are following a very bizarre chase involving a stolen tanker truck in Beverly Hills. This is on Wilshire Boulevard right now. This driver going at a very high speed down Wilshire Boulevard. The Beverly Hills Police Department is on his tail. Again, we are tracking this right now on uh, KCAL 9, our sister station. But you can see that driver has been plowing through intersections, not stopping. Uh, or obeying the laws, and he is on his cell phone right now. So police are trying to figure out how to bring this to a stop. Of course, uh, this is during the morning rush hour, so this is going to have a major impact on traffic. He is at Wilshire and Curson Avenue right now, turning oh, wow. right now uh, very dangerously here. Uh, again, we are going to continue following this on our sister station, KCAL 9 News, uh, here, and uh, we're going to continue to see what he does. But a very dangerous situation unfolding right now in the streets of Beverly Hills. And keep in mind, the other drivers around may not know exactly what is going on. So normally, um, they may not necessarily yield to a driver making a U-turn like this. This is incredibly precarious right now. Again, we mentioned uh, flammable material oh. on board. Uh, and now we are in a situation where police may be able uh, to stop oh. this person. And it looks no. like this worker has no this idea. This worker doesn't what's know, and he's on. moving the cone to he's get him in. He's moving the cone for, the, for this driver, which oh, no. probably police don't want this to happen right now. And, and they're going to need to kind of come up with a way to communicate to people on the ground that this is actually a per pursuit and not, you know, your run of the mill industrial oh. situation. How uh, frustrating that, the, that this was probably a, 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 an officer on the ground who had no idea what was going on. And it looks like he's moving towards a construction site there. You can see that empty plot of land. This is near Curson and Wilshire Boulevard. It uh, does look like the driver has stopped, though, uh, and the police are there now as well. So it'll be curious to see what he does next. It looks like that there is no open road that leads him out. So I think he is blocked in at this point. So right now that driver still in his vehicle, still in that stolen tanker truck with 21,000 gallons of liquid, uh, flammable liquid. Uh, he is on his cell phone, so police are trying to figure out what to do next. But uh, the good news is it doesn't appear that he's moving anymore, but we're still trying to figure out what his intent is here. Uh, we are joined on the phone by re retired Lieutenant Chuck Griffith, who has seen many of these pursuits in the past. Uh, can you recall in your memory, sir, seeing a chase involving a tanker truck stolen? Uh, good morning. No, I have not seen a tanker truck involved, and this leads to all kinds of uh, issues. And you've been nailing most of them is how to get this thing started and how to protect the public. And luckily, he's uh, he's stopped at this point, and hopefully, there's no way for him to pull out of there. And Lieutenant Griffiths, talk to us about some of the special challenges here in terms of getting him out of that vehicle because of the fact he has 21,000 gallons of flammable liquid. Yeah, basically, he's gonna. If he's not gonna get out, he's gonna be holding this whole area hostage. And they're gonna have to evacuate the area. Mm. Um, they'll just treat it as a barricaded suspect and employ any uh, special tactics teams that they can get in there. Oh, we don't uh, know exactly who oh. we're seeing on the ground here, but that does not look like a uniformed police officer. And I think the problem here uh -oh. is that there are people on the ground who have no idea that this is a chase. Obviously, right. you know, there's really no indication from this camera angle. 
that this is a stolen vehicle. Oh, no. This is a construction He's area. He's moving again. So, yeah, so a lot, of, a lot of people may be under the assumption that this is just uh, standard operation, standard operating procedures because um, they may see vehicles like this in the area. But, Peter, um, and Lieutenant Griffiths, I, I just want to get your comment on, on your reaction to this. Yeah, it, he pulled into a construction area, and these are construction employees that are moving the cones out of the way. It's not unusual to get deliveries and and uh, cars and our trucks coming in that need to get through. Uh, so they're just moving the cones and, and thinking it's a, a truck that's coming to their deliver or their uh, construction site. Um, you know, you, the the problems are is you don't want to really do a spike strip and difficult on these tires anyway, but you don't want a truck that's going to be out of control with uh, um, this uh, liquid on board. Um, you know, there there was years and years ago a, a situation in San Diego where a, a, a tank was stolen from a, mm. a National Guard armory, and that was a nightmare for them to, to get that stopped. Luckily, at this point, this guy is not driving like the guy in the tank was. Yeah, there are definitely special considerations uh, when you think about the kind of vehicle. Now we're starting to see police officers on the ground here, and I think one of the challenges is for them to get out ahead of this and let people know on the ground that this is not business as usual and that this tanker truck, Peter, you mentioned carrying thousands of gallons of mm -hmm. flammable liquid, is in fact stolen. Yeah, they're going to try to get ahead of it and try to get people out of the way and close off roadways. Uh, and it, it's it's very interesting as to why he stole this truck and what his intentions are and where he thinks he's going to be going. And what well, looks like now he is stopped in the middle of the street here. I believe this is on Curson near 6th in Beverly Hills. He's stopped behind another truck, it appears right now. Uh, but what's bizarre is that he stops and then he goes and then he stops again. It almost seems like he's just driving aimlessly, wouldn't you say, Lieutenant Griffiths? Yeah, yeah this it, is... It doesn't look like he knows where he's going, and that's maybe the ideal situation to get him blocked in if they can get that and play that, that green truck ahead of him to back up a little bit and position to where he can't move. Yeah, Lieutenant Griffiths, I think this really is, you brought up an interesting point. It speaks to the frame of mind of, of you know, where did they think they were going to go in a vehicle right. like this, and how did they think they'd get away? Right, and hopefully there's no um, deeper... Oh intentions of this guy we see somebody getting out now peter yeah this is just a bizarre situation unfolding right now if uh if you're just joining us here on cbs 2 news we are following breaking news in the mid wilshire area this is a uh, stolen taker truck that went through a construction site you can see several beverly hills police officers now surrounding the driver who got out uh, you can see him on the ground there on his cell phone they are swarming him right now he went at a very high speed down Wilshire Boulevard, On went into a construction now. site. Now he is complying with the officer's orders. Again, this tanker truck reported stolen, carrying 2,000 gallons of flammable liquid. Yeah, this appears to be a peaceful end to what could have been an incredibly dangerous situation. Um, we weren't seeing a ton of erratic driving spare that really tight U-turn there, but this could have gone so much worse, and we're certainly glad that it has ended in this manner and without any other uh, injury or, or, you know, obstruction to traffic. Certainly glad to see it come to a peaceful end. We're going to continue following this here on CBS2 and our sister station, KCAL 9. All right, so here we are again watching this uh, on KCAL 9 right now. You can see that suspect being led away in handcuffs, uh, wanted for possibly stealing this tanker truck carrying 2,000 gallons of flammable liquid. Just a very bizarre situation here in Beverly Hills and now the Mid-Wilshire area this morning. Yeah, definitely a, a tense situation. Lieutenant Griffiths uh, still on the phone with us now. And, and what do you think the considerations are for officers at this moment? Well, well, it looks like they're sure running they're... Uh, around around the back of that tanker truck, and we're not sure why just yet. Uh, it looks yeah. like they're approaching the other side of the cab now, or at least hiding behind a door. Do we know uh, what could be going on here? Yeah, they're going to make sure nobody else is in this vehicle. Um, there may be somebody on the other side that they're trying to get out. Right, right. Of course, that's a concern. We don't know whether that person, uh, if there is someone else in there, if they were there willingly or not. Um, a highly unusual situation. Again, Lieutenant Griffins, I kind of just want to get you to weigh in. Uh, in your experience, have you ever seen anything like this or dealt with anything in, in terms of a stolen tanker truck? 
I have not, and this is uh, probably one of the nightmare scenarios they would give you in training. All right, we are following uh, breaking news here in Beverly Hills right now, now in the mid Wilshire area of a stolen taker truck. It has come to a peaceful end here on 6th near Wilshire and Curson. You can see several LAPD and Beverly Hills police officers have surrounded this truck. They just took the suspect into custody. He is wanted for a number of charges, but this was definitely a bizarre and tense situation that unfolded across several surface streets this morning. That taker truck went into a construction site, made several erratic turns, came to a stop here, and now that suspect has been arrested. Uh, we've been joined on the phone by Lieutenant Griffiths, who's been weighing in periodically. Uh, we're going to continue to talk to you in just a moment. But to recap, our CBS viewers uh, joining us now, it looks like the situation is over. Officers are checking to make sure nobody else is in the cab of this vehicle. Could have been a much more dangerous situation, considering the contents on board, we're told, are flammable, and we did not witness any crashes or, or any interactions with pedestrians who are out walking and seeing what was going on here. That taker truck carrying 2,000 pounds of flammable liquid. We'll continue to follow this and bring you an update on CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. Thanks for joining us. All and right. for those of us uh, viewing this uh, ongoing situation on KCAL 9 News, we appreciate you joining us for this breaking news. We're going to continue to follow the developments related to the story uh, throughout the day as we, as we continue to keep our eye on this. We'll have an update coming up on our sister station, CBS 2 News at 11 a.m.